Now I want to show you how to create your own sloper from using your body form. The body form comes in different sizes. There's small, there's medium, there's large. The, this one is the medium which is size 10 to 16. While this other one is size uh, 16 to 22 and a half. And it comes with that. It's a single body form. So it comes with that so you can you know, expand or bring it back. If you are full around the waistline, you can adjust it, you know. But I will use it the way it came, which is a size 10, to show you how to create. So here with me is the design designer tape. And you can see here, it's just for you to apply the design, the kind of mapping out the design you want to create. So I want to use it now because I'm creating a basic sloper direct on the body form. So if the wearer is a size 6, 10, so the first thing, we use the tape around the neckline. I'll use it on one side first. Then, because I want it to be accurate, I'll check with my tape measure, the distance between here, the upper neckline, and where the tape is, is one and a half inch. So I'll check on this side and do the same, and continue my taping. I'm going to do is to tape across the bust area to the waistline. The, the, what I'm creating is actually for my body slope, I'm not skirt yet. So I tape it. The good thing about the designer tape, you don't need pins. It has adhesive so it sticks to the fabric on the body form. So for me to work on the other side, I have to measure because I want it to be accurate. So the distance between the tape and the center front is about four. So I also check on this side to make sure again you have put a finger there. When I will be showing you in the other DVD on draping, what I'm showing you now is just the preamble to what you will learn in draping techniques. position you are going to check again the distance between here and here so what I have here is three so I make sure here is three also so I can be okay so the next place to tape is my bust area dial here as my guide. I may decide to break it here or just continue to the other middle of the dial. I cut. So if I'm working on princess line, it will be a good time to create my princess line design. Then the waistline area, there's a joining already there, so it's easy for me to know where the waistline is. So I want to start now. So there are two methods I'm going to show you. I'll show you the first method. So this is my one yard of one yard plus muslin fabric or calico fabric. So I'm using the selvage. Remember, this is along the grain. So I'm using the selvage edge. And I'll mark out, say, about one inch or two inches, which I'll fold in. So I'm using 
an inch. I'll fold that in, make a little slip. So I'm going to align this to the center front. Let it go above the upper head. Align it to the center front. And pin. Already you have your wrist pin cushion with your pins, your, your ball head pins. And you start pinning. fabric is too big is pulling down the the muslin and we don't want that so that it won't affect the design so i'm going to make it so that it will snug around the bust area take it to the side i want to cut off some of the excesses i'll put a pin there and i cut off some excesses i will not mess up my job just put a little slip on it here. So I've turned off the excess I don't need. So I can continue my work now. So this excess here is going to become my dark later. So I'll continue smoothing it, but make sure here it's not smoothing it and um, insert your piece. Fill the side, the joining at the side starts the thing. So you can see yes there are some pieces already for the dart. You can see through the muslin you can see the tape the designer tape so it acts as a guide to create the dart. a shoulder that so this body is going to have so before I work on the upper part because I want it to be smooth I will have to make some snips some cuts around the neckline so that it will relax properly so from go like that just make little snips so I continue so I'm still using it as my guide the tape here to create Shoulder that you notice, no both that are not facing each other, the tips are facing each other. So, it's done. So, what I want to do now is to use the marker. You get a marker and mark, follow the way. Line. That. When you take out this sloper, it will be very accurate. You know, the sloper is the actual measurement of the wearer without seam allowance. So, if you use this for a client to design a client's outfit, it will be very accurate. Shoulder also use this as a guide to mark the shoulder. So the hand pole. Okay, can I trim off the excesses? Make some snips here so that this will be relaxed. I'm just leaving some extras later. We'll trim them off. We can use our tracing paper and. French of to transfer the information. So now I can remove it from the body form and check it out. Okay. So you can see the finished one. See? So all you need to do is to use your ruler to draw the lines properly and you have yourself a slopper. So this is a size 10 slopper. 
So if you want a size 12, you adjust your dial, you get a size 12. And you should know that women uh, standardize measurements is an evil number. So size 4, size 6, 8, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 26. So it goes on like that, but it's an evil number. So you can adjust it either of this one, the medium size or the large size or small size to your size and create your own sloper. So what I just did now, you can do it for the back too. You know, it's already taped. This is a previous tape I did. So you can do it on this part of the back. Then for skirt, from this part of the skirt, to create that for a skirt. Yeah? And uh, for a trouser, there are special body forms that comes with a leg part of it, which you can create a trouser. So that's it. I hope you've had a nice experience already. But still look forward to more advanced techniques.